Hey everybody, do really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on Taiga Saiba's route on Chapter 3, Taiga's photo shoot. I'm so utterly infatuated with him. I don't know why I'm so infatuated with him. I just, I really like his character and I like the way he's drawn, even though I'm not crazy about the art in this game, but you still get that sense of the character that he's supposed to be. Ugh, I really want to make some fan art of him. And I like how they describe him and everything. Right, well, anyway, let's jump into this chapter. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. For the entire duration of the next week, I didn't see Taiga as much for once. It was partially a relief to look at the call log on my phone. His name dropped lower and lower on the list. What? I don't like him. With just one more entry, he would disappear off the list forever. At the last moment, I panicked and saved his number under his name. I felt relieved and pathetic at the same time. I need to go shopping or something. Anything would be helpful to get my mind off him right now. Just when I thought I could get a break. Oh, are you kidding me? There's going to be advertisements with him all over the place. All around me, billboards and advertisements were plastered with his face. Of course, should have expected that. He had gotten an exclusive contract with a foreign company and was making big news. On the buildings above the road, a huge screen played a commercial with him on it. All the girls around me screamed with excitement when they saw him. Shut the hell up. I gasped when I heard a deep voice groan next to me and turned to look. It was a young man with blonde hair. I had expected it to be Taiga, but was disappointed when it wasn't. Maybe it's him wearing a wig. Stopping in a bookstore, a magazine caught my eye, so I flipped through it. Famous comedians love at first sight? What fate awaits retired actor? It was filled with gossip and sordid rumors, so I went to put it away. When I did, a familiar name flipped past on the page, so I went back to try to find it. There it was, an article about Taiga Saiba. Taiga Saiba finds love? Now dating a beautiful model? Ugh. According to the article, he hooked up with her after a fashion show. They disappeared into the dark streets together afterwards. Wild Taiga hunts for love. At the bottom, I showed a picture of him and the woman. She was holding onto his arm as if they were two lovers walking together. Back at home, all sorts of thoughts ran through my head. The picture had been so blurry, I couldn't see his expression, but I craved to know the truth. What was I expecting, anyhow? It was frustrating to find myself caught up with every part of his life. Still, there was one part of the article that worried me in particular. Due to his new foreign deal, they were building an office in France for him. Soon enough, he would be based there to help progress his career. More and more, I thought it wasn't a good idea to get involved with him. I searched on my phone for his contact entry. T. T. Taiga. I pushed the delete button and it asked for confirmation. Yes. However, when I went to push it, a phone call came before I could press it. It's fate! Hello, Darilli? Hello, Chief. What can I do for you? Well, tomorrow you're with Shindo, right? That's right, Ryohei Shindo. Man, am I like always his stylist? Okay, I'll need you to go with Taiga Saiba instead. Huh? Refuse to, but I don't wanna! But I have to! Sorry, I'd rather avoid Taiga if I can. Hmm? Why? Did something happen? The chief asked me suspiciously. I'd never be able to tell him what happened, and even if I did, no one would believe it either. I couldn't do anything but hold the truth to myself. Anyway, you're assigned to Taiga. Yeah, I just ignore my input here. It'll be at the Rokonji studio at the usual time. After the call, the phone screen returned to the address book. It was asking if I still wanted to delete Taiga off my contacts. No. That's right, keep that number on there. The next day, I had to work with mixed feelings. It turned out that after a week, Taiga's attitude toward me was as cruel as always. Hey, come on, Slowpoke. I need to change clothes. I had been hoping for some sort of change, but was let down in the end. Still, the article I read in the magazine chewed away at the back of my mind. I didn't feel quite right asking him about it, though. What are you staring into space for? Come on! Sorry. We returned to the studio to begin the photo shoot. The setup today was for the cover story of a magazine. We'll start with the cover shoot. No shirt, right? Why can't they show that to us? <laughs> Taiga ripped off his shirt without even the slightest hesitation. I want to see! Reminded me of what happened that time in the waiting room 
I turned away bashfully. Tyga, looking good! The female model shouted out to him with praise and admiration. Thanks. He flashed a charming smile in their direction, making them cheer even more. Everyone there was just way too good-looking for me to bear. Hey. Consumed by my inferiority complex, I stood there dazed. Hey, you. Taiga growled angrily into my ear. Y yes Don't you have ears? I've been calling your name. Take my shirt already. S sorry He tossed his shirt crudely at my chest. I couldn't even properly do my one and only job. My eyes drifted to the female models, and I thought one of their faces looked familiar. Where could I have seen them? Quiet, you're all too noisy. The one model snapped as she glared at the others and walked toward Taiga. Hey, Taiga. Yeah? She slipped her arm around his, as if clinging to him. <sighs> it was the exact same scene I saw in the magazine. What do you say after we're done here? After work? We're ready to begin shooting. The cameraman's voice boomed out, cutting all the chatter to a minimum. I'll see you afterwards. Okay. Jealousy ripped apart my heart when Tyga gave the woman a parting smile. He never had made that kind of face for me. Yeah, that's his fake smile. You don't want him to give him your fake smile. The shoot was progressing without a hitch. Tyga stared seductively into the camera, giving it his best look. Then, he glanced at me and our eyes met. <laughs> it seemed like just for a split second, his face warped into a grimace at me. Nice, Tyga. That's a good look. Had it just been my imagination? Apparently the cameraman liked it. Let's move on to the next shot. Got it. This new scene was themed around a man of the night concept. Taka walked over to the bed prop and laid down. Is this good enough for you? Hmm. The cameraman wasn't satisfied with what he saw through the lens. It's like something's missing. A woman, right? I yeah, that's it. Nice thinking. The cameraman snapped his fingers and yelled to the models. I need someone to get in the scene with him. I'll do it! I want to! Hey! The one model from the rumor snapped at and glared at the girls. <laughs> she stepped forward with her best smile and raised her hand. I'll help if... Well, I want her. I knew it! I had a suspicion! Taiga cut her off and pointed a finger toward me. Huh? I turned around to check if anyone was behind me, but there was no one at all. You. You're kidding. I couldn't fathom the idea that he had picked me. Yes, you. What? The studio instantly filled with curious chatter. What exactly was he planning here? Who's that? My stylist. Tyga, wait. She's nothing more than a stylist. He knows that. He said it himself. She spat out some malicious words directed at me. It'd be good with her. She's not a pro, though. It wouldn't be right to have her in the shot. But she knows me, so she can help bring out my best face. Taiga explained while marching my way. I had no idea what to say. I shall... Go along with it. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> I had the feeling he'd catch me and drag me along anyway. I was in so much shock that I couldn't even run if I wanted to. Taiga came up to me and whispered in my ear. You can't refuse me this time. He whispered cold words into my ear. <sighs> I had no choice but to go along with it. He pulled me into the shooting area while the models gave me nasty looks. Oh yeah, this is a much more dangerous relationship than Subaru's so far. Now I got three girls potentially after my life. The one model crossed her arms and glared at me like she wanted to hurt me. Well, as long as we keep her face out of the frame. The cameraman caved in and went along with it quite irresponsibly. <sighs> Don't I have to like sign waivers or something? So stunned at everything happening, I stood dazed, as if disconnected from the world. What are you doing? Go get changed. What? Me? Who else? Go undress. What? Back in the waiting room, I stripped off my clothes and put on a robe over my underwear. We're pressed for time, so we're going to start right away. Uh... I felt so overwhelmed and confused that Taiga had pulled me into the scene. You moved like a sloth. He whispered into my ear before leading me to the side of the bed. Show me what you've got. Hold each other. Got it. Taiga said pleasantly to the cameraman before turning to me with a sinister smile. God, I love that smirk. His hand crawled down my body and untied my robe. Hey, stop it! 
I protested as more of my skin was revealed to the camera. Shut up. Oh, he's blushing, but ever so slightly. Oh, come on, they need to give him a better blush than that. Great face, Tiger. Show me more of that naughty in you. The camera shutter snapped away fervently. Surrounded by all the lights and cameras, I couldn't resist as much as I wanted to. Tyga's cold hands caressed the curves of my body. Why are his hands so cold? <sighs> well, that's it. Show me that face again. He snickered and spoke softly to me. Stop it! Stop? Didn't you mean don't stop? His hand rubbed against my body, moving to particularly sensitive areas. <sighs> you were staring at me back then, weren't you? I was not. Liar, you want me, even if you pretend you don't. You can't fool me with a face like that. His wet lips pressed against the skin of my neck. <sighs> Isn't this too much? The studio went silent as Taiga became more and more bold. No, this is good. Keep going. Excitement overflowed from the cameraman's voice. Uh, he's enjoying this a little too much, I think. Sure thing. Taiga brushed his fingers gently across my bra. <sighs> You're sensitive, aren't you? No, I'm not. It wasn't fair. It wasn't right. This wasn't a part of my job. It wasn't even close. If I left, no one would blame me, not even the chief. Why? Why did I stay? Why don't I stop this? His fingers rolled across all parts of my body. Feel it. Feel me touching you everywhere. My eyes were transfixed on his devilish face, unable to look anywhere else. Why was I letting this happen? <sighs> I let out a soft moan with the sensation of his fingers on my skin. It doesn't feel good, even though you cried about it earlier. He teased me with his whisper before biting the tip of my ear. <sighs> Shh, quiet or they'll hear you. My breath and pulse raced faster and faster from his touch. <sighs> Crap. I so want to do you. Uh, he couldn't be serious. His face looked at me. It wasn't even one of his friendly or evil faces. It wasn't even his sad face. It was the face of a man caving into passion. Want to do it? Uh, his suggestion flared my emotions up with anger and I glared at him. Don't look at me like that. You know you want it too. Great. Good work. I got lots of good ones. I guess our time's up. Too bad. He hopped off the bed energetically. Good work. Good work, Taiga. Applause filled the studio as I sat dazed on the bed. I felt terrible. My body had betrayed my reason and thought. What a terrible person Taiga was. Taiga, why didn't you pick me? Sorry, I'll get you next time. He was a trickster with two different faces. Despite all this, I couldn't keep my eyes off him. <laughs> what? Let's go out to eat sometime, okay? I couldn't get myself to hate him. I've been trying to deny that strange feeling inside me was real. It started from the second I saw the magazine article. Jealousy. Putting on my robe, I walked out passing by Taiga and the model. You are just an ugly nobody. The model sneered at me quietly as I passed by. <laughs> Apparently Taiga doesn't think so. Taiga glanced in my direction. I felt so embarrassed. I ran away and escaped to the waiting room. I was putting on my clothes in the waiting room when I heard a knock at the door. Hmm? Before I could react, it burst open. Who the hell are you? Um, a stylist? I answered frankly, too stunned to say otherwise. Oh, are you an idiot? I'm asking what you've got to do with Taiga. I'm a stylist. I'm just a stylist, seriously. Since when does a stylist take photos with him, huh? She had a point, but that wasn't my fault. He wanted me there to help bring out a better expression. <sighs> Her lips curled with anger. We're nothing, really. Of course you aren't. He's mine. I came to tell you to stay away. She slammed down the magazine covering the rumor with them together. You know what this is. I do. You want to know what happened after? No, not really. Huh? Tiger was amazing. You can only... She began to proudly boast to me when the door flung open once again. What's going on here? Taiga flashed a loving smile at the female model. It was as if he wasn't even aware I was in the room, too. Taiga, a nice shoot today. We were just talking about clothes in here. 
She nestled to his side like an innocent kitten. I guess she could switch modes just as fast as he could. Really? Yeah, she was saying. Sorry, no time to talk. I've got to get ready for my next appointment. Aw, I'll talk to you later then. Yeah, see ya. He shot her a brilliant smile as she left. The model turned and cast an evil glare at me that only I could see before leaving. Damn annoying girl. He blurted out angrily as soon as the door shut behind her. Huh? Well, I bet she came in saying you tried to seduce me. That you're a nobody and that you should stay away from me. And you smell like you took a bath in the sewer. Only you would say that last one to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's his term of endearment. Damn it. I hate that kind of woman. Um, I thought you were seeing her. What? Her? Who would date that kind of trash? But I thought you messed around with her. My eyes glanced to the magazine she had left on the table. Bullcrap. But there's a photo with you two. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. His brows furrowed with displeasure. Besides... An evil smile crept across his face as he worked his way toward me. Want to continue where we left off? Huh? I told you already. I want to do you. Ugh, and we leave there? Ah! So the next chapter will be you're the one I fell for. <sighs> Why does our character have to be a freaking virgin? Oh, he's so sexy. Alright, well, I'm in a bit of a time crunch, so I really want to finish reading My Butler tonight, and then hopefully tomorrow I can finish reading Subaru's route, and then the day after that I can finish Taiga's route. But up until then, I'll do at least one video for each guy a day. So, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.